Huh? Hmm. Something is not right here. What do you mean, quack? An alarm signal and no activated tower? That's weird. And you're sure about the alarm last night? Not 100%. I was pretty groggy. Uh, could you make a little less noise? No! If I don't find the DVD of my short film in the next three seconds, I'll turn into a pumpkin. Which short film? Natural Grandeur 2 or I Guess Our Guest is a Ghost? I Guess Our Guest is a Ghost. If you want me to become rich and famous, I absolutely have to give it to TV. TV? Who's TV? His real name is Thomas Vincent, but everybody calls him TV because he's the famous news reporter on TV. TV, get it? TV's gonna be here in five minutes. My career is snipped in the bud. <laughs> hey! Yes! Fame, fortune, and glory are mine. My dear TV, on behalf of the students and faculty, we're very honored that you... Uh... Okay, okay, no big deal. Uh, time is money. Uh, this is Edna, my camera uh, woman, person, whatever, never on time. Show up late one more time and you're finished. I've got 150 cameramen who'd kill for a chance to work with TV. Hmm. You, sweatshirt, park my car out of sight from the kids. I don't want them scratching it. Uh, whoa. Now, let's continue with our study of plant life. After our field trip last week, I asked you to calculate the yield of the field of corn that we visited. Now, who can give me the answer? <laughs> Call your cough? Uh, yeah. 1,527 tons. Really, Nicholas? Well done. <laughs> You've solved the problem of world hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet down. Yes? Give me a panoramic shot of the kids. Uh, <clears throat> Can I help you? Yes. Get out of the shot. Hmm. Do our schools still provide a future for our youth? Faced with the teacher's lax attitudes, we have reason to doubt. To see how bad it's become, all you need to do is pick out a student at random and ask him his grade point average. You, for instance. 99.87 out of 100? Huh? <laughs> okay, cats. That's too high. Who here has a below 60 average? Okay, son, so you're flunking out of school, right? Me? Not exactly. On the other hand, I have this great DVD to show you. Oh, this cannot be happening. What's with this bunch of... I'm so disgusted. TV didn't even want to see my masterpiece. Is that what it means to be a starving artist? Oh, no. What? The alarm! Zan has gone on the attack! I'll warn you, me. Well, I sure hope this goes quickly, because I don't want to miss today's meatballs and gravy. We haven't had them for ages. Virtualization! You've got company. Aileda, stay behind me. Everyone bring their insecticide?
Yumi. Hey! Bunch of chickens! Weird. I guess Xana's not up to snuff today. Well, weird or not, it's better for us because we have something waiting for us. Meatballs and gravy! So hurry up! Well, my lady, your tower is served. I laid it. Wait. Look. The tower is deactivating itself. Well, what do you know? What does that mean, Jeremy? I wish I knew. Oh, no. Another tower activated in the ice sector. Again? Unbelievable. What's going on? The tower just deactivated by itself. I don't get this at all. Do you think it's a bug in the supercomputer? Or a new plot by Xana. Go to lunch. I'll stay here and try to work all this out. If anything happens, I'll give you a shout. Mm. I'll stay with you. With the two of us, it'll go faster. Mm. <laughs> What's with these little mini servings? Come on, Cookie, don't be shy. Load up the meatballs. Huh. Let me tell you, sure is no picnic being a field reporter. Wait, what? Where are all the meatballs? On TV's tray. <laughs> oh, oh, this is awful. Any guy who had wheels like this, I'd go out with in a heartbeat. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm starving. <laughs> It's starting up again. Should I tell the others? Hang on. Uh, it might deactivate by itself again. Seats. The subsystem seems okay, too. Jeremy, the tower is still activated. Uh-oh, bad news. Maybe this time Xana really is attacking. <laughs> That's enough now. Everyone inside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jeremy? Zan is attacking. Oh. Inside on the double. Come on, I got you. We have to get to Lyoko. Yeah, you're right, and I bet the weather's better there. Jeremy, we're stuck at school because of the blizzard. A nightmare! Santa's back to his old self! Ugh, close. Now what? Follow me! <laughs> cool! The subsonics! <laughs> Here, Mr. TV. This will keep your hair in place. <laughs> Very good, Mrs. Hertz. You did well to take the children safely to the basement of the science building. Look, Mr. Dumas. I found the weather station. I got this free with my Sumo Mag subscription. Up there, it shows the temperature outside. Uh, it's four degrees below zero. And down here, Shows the temperature in here, 37. 37 degrees. Come on, let's go down to the boiler room. Okay, everybody. It's a scientific fact that if we huddle together, we'll keep warmer. Ouch! It's a scientific fact that a good slap will keep your cheek warm. I'm setting it on maximum. That should warm us up a little. 
Edna, stop wasting film. An unbelievable deep freeze has taken hold of the city. And what are you shooting? Three brats in a basement. It's not even PG-13. People expect spectacular TV from TV. So let's get out of this rat hole and go where the action is, the city. Not with me. Oh, yeah? Fine. You're fired. Huh? Can't have cold feet on this job. <laughs> you can't go outside. It's 40 below out there. My car keys. Oh. Um, I, I think I left them in the ignition. Idiot! Hmm. Did you hear that? 40 below, and there's no reason for Xana to stop there. The only solution is to deactivate the tower on Lyoko. But if we go out, we'll end up as ice sculptures. We have to try. We'll sneak out of here and search the rooms for warmer gear. And then we'll run over to the factory. Okay. I'm warning you, Herb. If you fall asleep, I'll slap you again. What do you think you're doing in my car? Get out of here! Hey, you're not gonna leave us in this blizzard, are you? Fine, I'll drop you off. Get in the back and don't get my soft leather seats dirty. Got it? Yes, Michael? How c c cold is it? 58 degrees below zero outside to 23 degrees in here. Uh, huh? A deadly cold snap has hit the city, which was buried under ice and snow in a matter of minutes. The authorities have put the emergency cold weather into oh, no. action, but chaos has broken out nonetheless. Telephone warns. <laughs> It, it wasn't my fault. It was the p p power steering. I. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself useful in the meantime? Get Sissy and Herb into the boiler room fast. Uh, now that's authority. Oh, wait. Look out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that was close. Well, uh, heal me. Oh. <laughs> This is why I like bonsais better. We'll get you out of there. One, two, three. Forget it. It's much too heavy. Go to the factory. That's more important. We just can't leave her here. She won't last long in this cold. Okay, you get to Lyoko. I'll stay here with her. Good luck. Hang in there. I'm gonna go and look for something to get you out of there. Yes. <laughs> we have no choice, Jeremy. But that's exactly what Xana's waiting for, Elita. For you to go to Lyoko alone, so he can steal your memory. If someone doesn't go and deactivate that tower, Ulrich, Yumi, and Odd will die of cold. <sighs> and the entire city with them. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll launch the virtualization process. Yumi! Let me sleep. No! No, you can you can sleep later, okay? Look out, Aelita! Horrid's on the way! I can't see anything for now. <gasps> They're not hornets! They're flying mantas! Huh? But they never leave Sector 5! <gasps> We have to face 
Alex, fast! Xana is getting more and more powerful! About face, Lailita, fast! Well, that's it. Think about warm things, Odd. Tahiti, uh, sauna, heat wave, fireplace. <laughs> Flying mines. Okay, no sleeping. Everyone listen up. I'm going to tell you a little story. It's from when I was a volunteer research subject for the Space Exploration Program. Eileen, what are you doing? You're going straight in the Skimazoa! And b believe it or not, Major Santanox really had hippopotamus blood in his veins. No sleeping. I'm sure Odd's already on Lyoko. Magma! Odd! Oh. Oh.
Yui? Yui? Huh? Huh? Oh, no. No! Jeremy, hurry up! Launch a return to the past! Yui's in trouble! Okay. Return to the past? Now! <laughs> What's with these little mini servings? Come on, Cookie, don't be shy. Load up the meatballs. <laughs> Do you really want it? Oh, yeah. What are you, deaf too? Oh, what the? <laughs> and if you're still hungry, there's seconds. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this about? It's Eileen Stones, Jim. She isn't feeling well. What about you? You're not sleeping. Me? Uh, uh well, uh, she, uh, uh, woke me up. Eileen, what's going on? It's, uh, nothing. Okay, go back to bed, everybody. Go on. Daytime, there were these men in black coming after me. It was horrible. You must have had a nightmare. You shouldn't get worked up. It happens to everyone. Yeah, that's right. It happens to me all the time. One night, I dreamt I was on a date with Sissy. Can you think of a worse dream? Oh, speaking of which, how's your internet dating going, Odd? Great. There's this fantastic girl that I've really flipped over, too. And I just found out that she's a student right here at Catech Academy. It's totally crazy. I see her every day, and I have no idea who she is. And what's worse, he stayed up all night exchanging chat messages with her. I didn't sleep at all, thanks to him. She sends me these messages that are so romantic. I mean, like poems. Listen to this. Love is not looking at one another. It's looking together in the same direction, huh? Hey! How do you know that? It's a poem by the guy who wrote The Little Prince. She may be romantic, but she's not very original. Okay, it's time to get wet. Are you going to cut swimming again, Einstein, huh? No, I can't. Jim has already warned me. No more dumb excuses, you hear? Great! We'll finally get to see that buff athletic body of yours. I can't wait! You may be surprised. The human body is made up of 90% water, and that is why it floats. Because contrary to what you might think, water floats. Don't forget Archimedes' principle. Any body plunged into a liquid uh, uh, is uh, a, uh, uh, comes out wet. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, no, that's not it. <clears throat> now, no one has to be scared of the water, unless, of course, you're lost at sea somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean. In that case, you would certainly have the right to say, "Wow, that's a lot of water." In there. And what more? It's only on the surface. Yeah, sure, it's Sophie. She kind of fits the profile of all those chat messages. What makes you think it's a girl in our class? It might just as easily be Millie or Tamiya. Which reminds me of when I was a salvage diver. You used to be a salvage diver, Jim? I'd rather not talk about it. Asra? No. No way. She's not a first-year student either. I forgot. Maybe she's in Yumi's class. <laughs> and what if it's Anais Fike? Next to her, you're a real shrimp. Stern and Delarubia. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm boring you. All right, on deck. Let's see what you can do. You okay? Uh
was much more detailed. There were still the men in black, but I was at the hermitage. The doctor said you passed out from the cold. That may be, but what about the visions? Where are they coming from, Jeremy? I haven't the slightest idea. Although, I am sure that it's no big deal. The best thing is for you to get some rest now. We'll talk about it later. Right, I've got to go. I'm already late. Us too. Mrs. Hertz is going to kill us. Wait a minute. I'm just about to find out who she is. Come on, Odd. You can talk to your cyber girlfriend after class. Take the computer with you. Thanks. See you in a bit, Ailita. I'll come back again and check on you after science. See, I mistook you for a door post. <laughs> hey, she's in our class. She said that she has science now with Mrs. Hertz. Odd, pass me the computer. Hey. I forgot to check something. Settle down and be quiet, please. Open your books to page 99. Oh, no. An activated tower. Huh? Ma'am, can I go to the bathroom? Uh, me too? Uh, me too! Oh, no you don't! It's always the same with you three! You should have gone before class! And put that computer away before I take it away! Mercury freezes at 38 degrees below zero Celsius. At room temperature, it is therefore in a liquid state. We use it in certain devices, such as thermometers, for instance, because it expands with heat. It's also a very heavy metal, which means what, sissy? Uh, uh, it means uh, that a pound of metal weighs uh, uh, nearly a ton. Let's get out of here. Ah. <laughs> Warn Yumi. I'll go get Aelita. We'll meet up at the factory. <gasps> know where they're coming from. Right. Anyway, listen. You ought to know that Xana's on the offensive. The others are already at the factory. Don't move. I'll come and get you. I'm big enough to make it to the factory by myself. Okay. But hurry. Aelita, <laughs> come quickly. Hello? Is anyone there?
Just 30 seconds more and you can head for the scanners. What's Aelita up to? She said she'd be right over. I should have gone to pick her up. Ah, there you are at last. Hey, Cinderella, we said midnight on the dot. Aelita, are you okay? I had some more visions. Um, I saw a man, and it was... Who? Franz Hopper. Huh? Are you sure? I know it sounds crazy, but I'm sure it was him. What if this is Xana's offensive? What? I mean, these strange visions. Exactly. Xana is perfectly capable of stimulating your cerebral cortex through the virus that links you to him. And from that, he can paradoxically simulate in you an artificial sleep and the involuntary psychic activity that goes with it. In short, you mean Xana is showing you free movies? But why? Well, let's not hang around to find out. Let's go deactivate the tower. Transfer on! Transfer Ulrich! Scanner on! Scanner Ulrich! Okay, you're all there now. Don't waste any time. Coming, Alita? Xana's monsters up ahead. You see them? We'd have to be as nearsighted as you not to see them. You handle the blocks. You and I will take care of the tarantula. You got it! Ground and air attack. Call it up? Eileta, what are you doing? Sorry, Jeremy, but I want some answers. I have to find out where these visions are coming from. Eileta, don't do it! It's a trap! <laughs> Way to go, Yui. Eileen is gone to Sector 5. You have to get there fast. Count 
countdown is still ticking. Hurry! There's only one way. One, two, three. We'll never make it in time! Uh, mind telling me what you're doing? Saving the day. Yes! Uh -huh. uh, odd! Odd! Are you okay? Uh, Sector 5 is even worse than Mrs. Hertz's class. Princess. <laughs> Here comes the elevator. Now! Go! As soon as you get to the Celestial Dome, get out of Sector 5 and head for the Desert Sector fast! Okay, Alita? Alita, what did I tell you? We're not getting any data. You have to deactivate the tower. Alita! This will only take a few seconds. It's one of Xana's traps, Alita. He created these visions to lure you over to Sector 5. Give me the controls. Did you hear me? Alita! Lauren, Yumi, drag her out of there by force. What do you want us to do? Knock her out? It won't be necessary. I'm sure I'll find what I'm looking for. Alita, even if you do find the origin of these visions, what's the point if Xana takes your memory away from you?
activated the tower. The tunnel's open. Just a trap made in Xena. I guess. But I still would really like to know where those memories came from. I think that Xana must have made the whole thing up. Or maybe the memories came from someone else. Implanted in you by Xana in order to scare you. That could be it. It's very strange, though. I was really under the impression that I was reliving the events that I was seeing. That, however, can't be. Yes, I know. So odd, uh, how's your cyber sweetheart? She is too cool. I've really got it bad this time, guys. I'm gonna meet her. When? Now, at the vending machines. Later! I don't believe this. So uh -huh. odd, you're a fantastic girl. What's she like? Surprising. So, did you meet your mystery computer boyfriend? What's he like? If he's a mystery, why would I tell you, you dork? What's the matter with you? You act as if you never saw me before. Never like that. <sighs> this new stuff will get rid of my unsightly zits for sure. You should have seen them. You know, they're back together again. Hey, Julian, you mind telling me what you're studying? The eye chart. I'm nearsighted, but I don't want to have to wear glasses. That'd be too lame. Oh, you're right. Being blind as a bat sure is a lot more cool. Holding up the wall, huh? No! Push-ups! Why? Can't you tell? No. I'm sick of hearing Yolanda telling me I'm scrawny. But you are scrawny. I am not scrawny. I'm svelte. Rick, wanna look over my health record with me? Uh... Look at my weight curve, just right. And my growth curve, just right. Perfection is really wonderful, isn't it? You don't understand, Aelita. You don't have a health record. You've never even been vaccinated. What if the nurse finds out that you're not really human? You mean you don't find me very human? <laughs> yeah, sure I do, but that's not what I meant. Jeremy, relax. Don't get so carried away. All right. Jeremy Belpois, Odd Della Robia, and Julian Xao. Go on, Rambo. Blow him away. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the heart of an athlete, Odd, but you look a little skinny to me. Are you sure you're eating enough? By enough, do you mean more than an elephant? I eat a lot. Ah, in that case, it must be your metabolism that keeps you so scrawny. Okay, your turn, Julian. I am not scrawny. I'm spelt. All right, read the top line, please. Uh, 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 A-Q-T-Z. Jeremy, what do you see on line one, please? H, B, P, V, and L. Really, Julian, not only are you nearsighted, you've got a bad memory, too. <laughs> Jeremy, your turn. Ma'am, is it bad if we forgot to bring our health record and if we haven't had all our vaccinations? Well, yes, it is. But don't worry, you're completely up to date. Elizabeth Delmas and Eileta Stones, please. 
Don't so worry, Einstein. She thought you were human, didn't she? <laughs> Hilarious. An activated tower. In the middle of a medical checkup, Xana has no respect for anything. Warwick, stay here and wait for Aelita. Bring her to the factory as soon as she gets out. All tonight, we'll head over there now. Hey, quit dawdling. This is a hundred meter sprint, not a chorus line. Okay, Jeremy. I'll be there as soon as I can. Next. Someone, at least, is putting their back into it. Wow, Yumi, <laughs> you just broke the school record. But, hey, Yumi! What? Uh, your scale must be broken. That's five pounds over. The scale is perfectly accurate, Elizabeth. It's Sissy! This is outrageous. I'm going to tell my father. I'd run over to his office if I were you. It might help you lose a few pounds. Your turn, Aelita. I'm really sorry, ma'am, but I forgot to bring my health record. Oh, it's no big deal. I'll just put your results on a separate piece of paper that you can staple into your file later on. I should have left my health record at home, too. Huh? Oh. But why? Well, can't you guess? My ultra-perfect weight curve has just been wrecked by these five extra pounds. Well, you can't tell by looking at you. Okay, I get the picture. <laughs> Yolanda has been possessed by Xana. She'll probably try to get to the factory so she can transfer Aelita to Lyoko and then deliver her to the Skiffazoa. I'll try and stop her. <sighs> Without Aelita, we can't deactivate the tower. Uh, how about we block the elevator? That might buy us a little time. Okay. But it's only gonna give us five or six minutes, no more. So, what do you suggest? Well, we could do battle with Yolanda on equal terms. Say what? I've been studying Xana's specters for a while now. I think I can manage to pixelize you. Oh, you mean you're going to turn us into people like the ones possessed by Xana? Instead of being Xanified, we're going to be Jeremified. Do you get it, guys? Couldn't that be a bit risky? I could say no, but I'd be lying. as you can. How much time you need? Ideally, about three months. But I'll see what I can do to speed things up. So how do you plan on pixelizing us, Frankenstein? First step, activate a tower. You know how to do that? Well, theoretically, uh, yes. It doesn't work. Yes, it does. Look. I, uh, I activated a tower! Now, thanks to this activated tower, I'm gonna send a digital impulse which will travel at hyperspeed through all the networks and gather huge amounts of energy. I'll guide it by remote control toward the exit I choose, like the cables on my screen, and the impulse will come out as a specter. Uh, English translation, please? Well, I'm gonna send a specter, and you'll become invincible. I'll do it! Are you sure? I've got a little score to settle with Yolanda Paradin. 
Excuse me, ma'am, but you forgot to give me my checkup. <sighs> and I remember to bring my health record and everything. Okay, guess my reflexes are pretty good. How about testing my eyesight now? Jeremy? Ailita, are you okay? Yes, but I can't get through the corridor. We're coming. Get ready, Odd. This is gonna be big time. If this ends badly, Jeremy, you promise to look after Kiwi? If this ends badly, there'll be nobody left to look after Kiwi. Fully charged. Please hurry up, Jeremy. I, she's here. Miss Nurse, do you think I look scrawny now? <laughs> this way, nasty nurse. Catch me if you can. Ailita, you read me? Ailita? Loud and clear. <sighs> Ailita, are you okay? I'm all right. What about Ulrich? Here I am. Am I dreaming, or has Odd turned into a superhero? Jeremy's managed to Jeremify him. Oh, yeah? That's weird. Yeah, but I don't know how long he can last against Yolanda, so we have to deactivate the tower that's controlling her. The overbike and the overwing are on the wing. The activated tower is above the forest in front of you. Let's move. <sighs> Any news from Odd and his private nurse? Last time I checked, the atmosphere was electric. He should be hanging in there. For now, that is. But you guys better be careful. Xana sent out some monsters to stop you from reaching the tower. Wow, isn't that a surprise? <laughs> You bombed the exam voice. Odd! Odd! Can you hear me? Odd! Odd! Odd, do you hear me? Yumi, can you hear me? Yes, Jeremy. It's about Odd. We've got a big problem. Yeah, well, it's not too easy at this end, either.
taking control of the tower I activated for Ott, and there's nothing I can do to stop them. Whenever you and Odd start messing around, it means trouble for us. But how is that going to affect Odd? Will Xana take control of him too? Well, it looks as if he'd rather just pump all of his energy. You mean, until he... Yeah. Where's the other tower? In the mountain sector. There's a way tower to the west. Got it. I'll go with Ilita. Saving Odd is top priority now. Stay here and clean up. The tower's dead ahead of you. Can you see it? Uh, no. To tell you the truth, we can't see anything. Xana has already pulled this one on us. Hey, watch out! You're right at the edge of the cliff. You have to hang on real tight. Listen to me, okay? I'll guide you. The path leading to the tower is dead ahead of you, Yumi. Keep walking straight ahead until I say stop. <gasps> stop! <laughs> Next time, Jeremy, give me a little more warning, okay? Sorry, I can't judge distances too well on my screen. Now, turn right. <laughs> What's Santa got in store for us next? You're gonna have to go around a rock. The best solution, as I see it, is to go around to the left. Oh. Jeremy? Are we there yet? After the rock, it's straight ahead to the tower. You're almost there. Oh, no! What? You've got company. Hornets! Where? Doc! Watch it! <laughs> Okay, run straight ahead to the tower! <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
spotted. Ah! Jeremy, any news from Odd? No. Eileta's coming out of the tower. We're going back to Ulrich right away. Okay, I'll program the overboard for you. Ulrich, do you read me? Eileta and Yumi are on their way to you. Good, the three of us could use a few ladies around here. Getting a little lonely out here by myself. What about the monsters? What monsters? <laughs> it was pretty rude of you to have left me there in the middle of our conversation, Nurse Yolanda. <laughs> oh, odd! Am I glad to see you? Yeah, I'm glad to see me too. Getting pretty hairy over at the factory. Xana needs to work on his bedside manner, don't you? <laughs> Yolanda turned into this weird, super scary demon and jumped out of the window. That's what happened. Reminds me of when I worked at a psychiatric hospital. You worked in a psychiatric hospital? I'd rather not talk about it. But it's the truth, I tell you. Listen, sissy dear, stop this nonsense and tell me what really happened. Why don't you ask Yolanda? <laughs> Mrs. Parodan wasn't feeling very well, so she went out for some air. Out the window? Uh, yes, of course. Why not? Is that really what happened, Yolanda? Well, uh, yes, I, I mean, I don't really remember. It's as though I blacked out. But I don't see why Alida would want to lie. Nice one, Alida. You were perfect. You know, anybody that lies that well could only be human. Right, Jeremy? <laughs> are some super weirdo things that happened in that infirmary. Relax, sissy. We understand how it would make you crazy to be five pounds overweight. Ah! I am not five pounds overweight! No, no, come on, don't worry. You know, nobody's perfect. Speak for yourself, scrawny! I am svelte! <laughs> <laughs> 